Right, and uh, ruined ring section. Oh, I can complete it. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, so that's how you repair those then. With tons and tons and tons of alloys. Okay, well, that gives us a long-term goal to focus on. Gen 3 cast form. Yeah, that's on the list. I've had that on my list for a while, actually. That one gets requested all the time. Haven't done it yet, though. Interestingly enough, today I was working on a Zubat black and white run. Black and white. Sorry, a Zubat a red and blue run. And uh, while I was doing that, I was watching J. Rose's new video, and he named Zubat as what he predicts to be the fourth hardest Pokemon to solo red and blue with. So I thought that was a funny coincidence. Have I seen Kung Pao? I have not yet. However, my friend Truth has been bugging me to watch Kung Pao for two years. Maybe three years. And I will get around to it, and I bet you all love it. But I haven't gotten around to it yet. Church of Spiritual Philosophy. Can I get some more, um... Kappa aliens? Weird. Okay. Uh, I would like... What, what is this? 25% of them some form of spiritualists? Eh. Adopting Mind Over Matter Ascension perk. Uh, which one is that again? Wasn't that one I wanted? No, one vision I want. Mind Over Matter... Is... Where the hell is it? Am I blind? Mind Over Matter. Requires Sonic, uh, theology. Oh, that's like, um... Psy power wizard shit, right? I think so. Okay, that might happen eventually. I I can't make any promises on that. Uh, what else did they want? They want to be a uh, secular... Oh, they're upset about it being a secular state, I think. Okay. And empty shells. Allowing their placement of organic... They don't like that I have uh, robots available. Okay, I don't think I'm ever going to befriend them. Yeah, I don't think I'm ever going to befriend them. That's just not happening. Enclaves Incorporated, that is not going to occur. I'm not expanding much more. Federated, that will happen. And Science Without Borders have at least three research cooperations. I can do that. In fact, I plan on doing that. And I didn't mean to close that menu there, by the way. What were they talking about? Oh yeah, I want to become their patron again. And I need more money. Good thing we make so much food. There we go. It's a deal. Really want to stay on good terms with them. Ever played Skyrim? Yeah. Played on the channel a bunch of times, actually. Mind Over Matter is Psionics. Yes, that's the name that I was looking for. Oh, I can, like, make my way all the way up there. How did I meet them already? Must have been an event. Okay, they're going up there. Keep going. Really want to fan out and find the rest of the world, you know? Like, I haven't researched... I haven't explored any of this. For all I know, there's like a country right here, you know? Because his enemies were in the way. So he had to do such a weird path. Okay. What does the population need to be for that? 50, 50, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, nothing I can do to make them speed up their construction, you know? Can I please get that non-aggression pact soon? I'd love that. Are you an, an adventure RPG player? I guess it depends on what you consider to be an adventure RPG. Name a couple that you have in mind. You wouldn't be able to do the psionics path unless you get a lucky, lucky with a random technology card system. Okay. Spiritualists are the only people guaranteed to have it. That's interesting information. Here we go. This is, okay. Uh, curator order. I think they're science based, right? Share some of our knowledge for a price, yes. Okay. Uh, I do want to befriend them, probably. Mysteries of the universe. I'm guessing we need to be friends for this, maybe. Great cause both lives and luxuries. Curators, yeah. What else do you offer? So we can recruit scientists if they like us enough. That's cool. So it's probably like pre-leveled up scientists. Fallout games. Yeah, both old and new. I prefer the old ones, actually, but I like the new ones as well. 
Path of Exile, Diablo, etc. I like Diablo 2 a lot and Diablo 1. You gonna watch the Skyrim LP after this? Uh, it's not that great. I don't recommend it. Skyrim is a cool game. Uh, I, I like the other Elder Scrolls games more. Um, but I just don't think I did a good job on that. Let's play. Aid me in research. Uh, what will this do? It'll increase my research speed for 120 months by 10%. That's really big, especially with all of our bonuses. It's not even that expensive. I'd like to purchase that. All right. There we go. We've just massively sped up uh, research on the cheap. So there he's doing up that way. Oh God, there's so much space to explore, you know? Never know we're going to find a country. You could play some Fallout games. I have many on the show for many years. In fact, uh, some of them are very long time ago, though. Right, I haven't actually investigated these aliens yet. I got to get around to that now. Well, here we go. That might have been something there. I'm going to just, like, tag through there, you know? Ar so that's another artisan troop, or is it the same artisan troop as before? I think that's a different artisan troop. I'd like to meet that. Sweet. Archaeological dig site there. All right. Okay, how are we doing in our in our settlements here? This one needs another planetary growth, so I need to wait not long to get that. We have uh, do we have enough housing? We have plenty of housing. This is good. Um, I'm happy with everything here. I, uh, commercials, I like that it like reshuffles them to order them to put similar things together. That's really useful. Um, God, our trade value is getting good, isn't it? I'm pretty happy with our trade value right now. There we go. Planetary growth. Keep it going. So these are monuments. Chat, for people who are more familiar with that than I am, do they stay forever? Or do they eventually become irrelevant? Immigration poll. If I get a really good production on that, I might. Communication established. On, uh, that was a misclick. Another country. Authoritarian, militarist, materialist. That might not be easy to befriend. What are these, like, grasshopper people? Where were they? These guys. Not sure what that is. We'll take another guy away from the second country we met and put it on them. That's not one that I think I'll very easily befriend, but, you know, we can just keep in mind that that is potentially someone we could befriend. And research another language. Where are they? Right there. Okay. No, that's a trade commission. Where are these guys? Right here. Okay, so these guys are very close to me. Okay, it's more important that I befriend them than I do need to put an extra guy on them. There. We've got two envoys on them now. If you mess over modifiers, it tells you how long it lasts. Last time I checked, it didn't have an expiration on it. Do you record Seven Days to Die to upload? Got really hooked on the series. Or do you do you have recorded seven? I think you mean, do I have footage of it right now? No, but me and Brandon are probably going to record it tomorrow. Okay, we just met another alien. We might finally have almost every country, or every species at least in the galaxy, met. And we're just decoding some languages. Here we go. Research speed of 5%. That's awesome. Research. And we have more research alternatives thanks to that one bonus we got. Capacity overload and energy grid is kind of nice. Colony development speed, we're not expansionist enough to really need that. Uh, economy stuff is nice. It never hurts to have a better fleet, but defensive packs could potentially help me in that. So I think I'm just, yeah, I'm going to stick with economy stuff for now. Seven Days to Die, that's a throwback. Oh, that game is really good nowadays. Okay, uh, experience gain for all leaders of 25% is really good. I don't think many people are near their cap, especially not my very high scientist cap. But the leader experience gain percent is really big, just so that they can get a higher level before they die. That can have a big difference. 
And then people working on research have their upkeep reduced by 20%, which will be really nice. I don't actually have many research stations. Because I don't think... That's counting, like, research stations you'd make in systems, not the ones on planets, right? Because isn't that by a different name? That's a research lab. Yeah. So that one right there doesn't actually do a whole lot for us. The boldly go of, of um, scientists being able to flee battles easier and surveying way faster is actually really nice for getting anomalies, and that can be a lot of nice bonuses. Because I'm just going to put a bunch of science ships on, like, auto- uh, survey once we've met most of the world just to try and scoop up as much scientific bonuses as we can so I think I'm gonna take this first yeah we're, we're gonna go with the leader experience and level cap was literally anyone at their level cap not yet god nine is the scientist le leader level cap right now yeah no one was no one was at their cap but that's fine. The experience gain itself is very much worth it. Your dog is going nuts. Well, project uh, damage to ancient mining drones. I don't care. Mining station mineral output, though, is a little bit of a bonus. I'll take that. All right, this is this is a dead end up there. Go down this way. Hey, Kong Donk. Oh, migration treaty. Never going to complain about that. I love migration treaties. It, it's going to help my immigration. From both of them? Hell yeah. That's awesome. I forget. I don't need anything from these guys, right? No. Yeah. Don't think so. I mean, I can afford this, but we're spending so much money on other things that I'd rather not befriend the Merchant's Guild right now. The artisans and the curators are more important to me right now. I think whenever my scientists die from now on, I'm going to really try and befriend this guy and, uh, and just hire scientists from them so that they start off, presumably, at a higher level. Because our cap is so high that any kind of a bonus we can get is important. Okay, uh, other countries, though. Um, can we buddy up to them more? Can I get, like, non-aggression with more of these guys? I'm so close to non-aggression with that guy. I don't know if I'm gonna want a defensive pact, but I'm gonna definitely want non-aggression. These guys are the closest ones to us, yeah. Oh, here we go. Uh, research pack... Hell yeah, because we... And commercial pact, hell yeah. Because uh, we have a... Was it these guys who wanted us to have? It's these guys, Science Without Borders. Once at least three research agreements, this will be our third. There we go, we just got it. And so they're giving us more... Um, they're giving us more influence, which we desperately need. Also, the commercial pact means that we can start making stuff in their country. So let's uh, go to the capital. 41 population? That's a better population than any other place we've seen. Can we not? Oh, they're a corporation, so we can't have our corporation on their territory. That's right. Well, they can't do that. They can't do it to us either. So, you know what? Still beneficial. I'm happy with it. Uh, you can buy a governor from the merchant skill. They have a unique trait and give a 10% trade value. That's really strong. Maybe I should be befriending them. Maybe I should trade with them just for the sake of of befriending them. Yeah, it's a plus five. We get a higher amount, the more we can afford to trade. And there's a down payment of 500 credits on this. Uh, it's really not much opinion, to be honest. Um, I mean, I wouldn't mind rare crystal, but we don't need it yet. So I'm actually going to hold off on that. Do I want to build anything? This place only has one available job right now, and I'd really like more. So I'm going to get a little bit more mining and farming going there. What kind of government are you going? I, I forget if I answered that, but we are, uh, we're a business. We're a corporation. We're basically trying to make a super trade union. Non-aggression pact? Hell yeah. I want non-aggression pacts with everyone that I can get. 
I want to completely stay out of wars where possible. I want everyone to think it's suicidal to declare war on me, regardless of how weak my fleet is. So, non-aggression pacts are the first step. We've befriended these guys very quickly. Request to become subsidiary. Yeah, no thanks. I would like to form a federation, but they're not very interested. These guys like me the most. And they're still not willing to do it, mostly because of the distance between us. Um... These guys like us a lot. But they're still not willing, because they're a lot more militaristic than us. I don't like that these militaristic guys are kind of close to us, too. Oh, what is this? Oh, the archaeological sound effect was at the same time by coincidence. Uh, is it just a science ship? It's just a science ship uh, running into some encounter there. Okay. And we successfully got away. We're fine. Eh, I can go that way. We're good. He's the Trade Federation from Star Wars. Uh, I hope I'm not as boring as the Trade Federation from Star Wars. I love Star Wars, but the Trade Federation, Jesus, that was prequel shit. Newt Gunray. He's not exactly the most memorable character in Star Wars outside of his name. I bet you if I say Newt Gunray, half the people who watch the prequels doesn't even remember who that is. And didn't remember that there's a guy called Newt Gunray. Increases stability from declaring martial law. Yeah, but resources and jobs goes down so much it wouldn't be worth it. And pop growth gets crushed. Ugh. What are good ways to raise stability? Does anybody know? Long time YouTube viewer, first time Twitch watcher. That's awesome. Oh, what's this? Hold on. Hold on. Suddenly the Savannah world is easy to live on? What? Oh, we have more species now. Right, because we have these migration treaties. We're finally starting to get races who would live there easier. The lithoids here would live there really well. Yeah, they eat minerals instead of food. Long lifespan. Well, maybe we'll do that. I would like the planet, to be honest. I, I want as many plants as I can in this little area. Four planets would be pretty nice. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. We have much to gain from this encounter. There's a new race. Uh, they are still militarists, and okay, they're xenophiles though, so they might be easy to befriend because they're also diplomatic and trade oriented. Uh, they're an oligarchy. Okay. I mean, I'll try. They're also really close. I'll try to befriend them. It's these guys, right? Honor bound warriors. Yeah. Oof. Really, finally we're getting to the point where it's like, I wish I had more uh, envoys. Don't get me wrong, six envoys is a shitload, but still. Yes, I can afford to donate, yes. Because it gives me influence, and influence is awesome. Oh, thought I saw something. Uh, we need to get more commercial packs with people that we don't already have commercial packs with. Um, which right now is just these two. Yes. Okay. These guys like us a little more. So how close are we on that? Oh, we can do it right now. Sweet. Yes. Immediately propose that. Perfect. They accept it. That's what I like to hear. A galactic community. Oh, we're going to make the galactic Senate now that we've met everyone. I guess that lets us know we've met everyone. I'm going to say yes this is a worthy endeavor. God, we have so many of these. We haven't even started on any of them because I think we need science ships at them, don't we? Yeah, we really should start at them at some point. It's just such a pain. We'll probably just make more science ships for it. Let's do that. 
We have three of them right here. Oh my god. 